I now want to talk about a very particular kind of stochastic process. And let me start with an example to demonstrate what I mean. So let's go back to the staircase uh, that we had for all this while. So here's the staircase. And, and here's a person standing on it. And as usual, we'll start at step three. But um, we'll make the rules a little bit more complicated. Uh, we will use the following rule. So we'll say if uh, you come to step three from step four, uh, go next. to step two if you come to step three from step two go next to step four so if you're coming from four to three you'll continue going down to two if you're going from two to three you're going up you'll go up to four not a particularly complicated rule but uh, just think for a moment if somebody asks you uh, if somebody tells you the person is on step three and asks you where will they go next where will they go next and the answer is we really don't know to determine where they go next we need to know the past we need to know which step they came from and when this happens, the system becomes quite complicated to analyze. So we could come up with a rule. We could come up with a simplifying rule that says, what if we say that the future depends only on the current state? Only on the current state. The current step state, same thing. If we did this, when we observe the person or uh, the Markov process, sorry, the process being at step three, and somebody asks you where next, we can say for sure, yes, they're going to be, uh, well, it doesn't have to be for sure. Then what next could be, uh, you can say, well, if they're at three, then the probability 0 0.5, they go to four, and then the probability 0 0.5, they go to two, for example. This is a probabilistic next step, but it doesn't depend on the past. It only depends on the current step. So if at 3, the probability 0.5 go to 4, probability 0.5 go to 2, this does not depend on past history. It only depends only on the current state, only on the current state. Whereas this set of rules depends on the past history. So even if the future cannot be completely and deterministically known, however the future depends only on the current state, then we call this a Markov process. And this is in honor of a Russian mathematician, uh, A. Markov, who came up with this in 1907. And he said that the future depends on the past only through the current state. So we can ignore the past history. So with this, we can uh, make our analysis a lot simpler and uh, in practice we pretty much uh, only work with Markov processes. Uh, anything that's non-Markov is, is, uh, can be converted into a Markov process through a fairly complicated process which I won't go through here. But uh, yeah, but so let's define a Markov process now, now that we have the notation. So you can define it like this. The probability that the uh, Markov process is in uh, at time step x, uh, time step i plus 1 is k, so the probability that xi plus 1 is k, given that xi equals some state x sub i, small x, a capital X i plus 1, the state at i plus 1 equals to small x i plus 1, that's some other state, etc., and capital X0 equals x0 is equal to probability that x i plus 1 equals k given that x i equals sub x i. In other words, 
this probability of going into any future state, which is this over here, depends only on the current state over here, which is x, small x, i, and all of the past history is ignored. And so what is said over here in words can be written precisely here, and this is the definition uh, of a Markov process. Define a Markov process. as this is how we define a Markov process. Um, 